there are a few times over one's lifetime or over one's career uh, where you have an opportunity to be part of something truly transformational. So let's uh, dive right into the secret uh, to the show now. And um, I guess the number one secret that comes to mind of not putting EXP in a box, right? Um, with your, maybe your story, your journey to EXP and where you've seen it evolve and where you see it going. But would you just chat a little bit about, um, you know, what, what I guess attract you to EXP and, 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 and how, and how it's evolving and how, you know, it's, it's, it's really, I mean, difficult to put it in a box. Sure, Brett. Um, my history with EXP goes back to, you know, prior to its founding, when uh, I first met Glenn Sanford, who is the uh, uh, founder and visionary behind uh, EXP. Um, and uh, it was a, a guy that was working for me who bought a, a home and was represented by an agent that was working with, uh, with Glenn, who had suggested that, you know, this guy has an interesting story. Perhaps you ought to sit down and meet with him. Um, and Glenn outlined over the course of a couple of hours his vision and what he wanted um, uh, EXP to be. I'm not even sure it was named at the time. And I probably spent at least half that time trying to convince him that, uh, you know, that's a pretty steep climb. You're really sure you want to tackle that. Uh, and we kept in touch over the uh, the years, a couple of times a, a, a year as the uh, idea came to fruition and as he developed the company. Uh, and I joined the board, I want to say about five and a half years ago uh, or so. And I mentioned earlier, I'm vice chairman and, and, and chairman of the audit committee. Um, and it has been um, an extraordinarily remarkable run, not just because the company has performed well financially. I mean, that's great. We've attracted lots of agents today. We're somewhere shy of 70,000 uh, agents, for example. And, and our uh, uh, trajectory suggests that we'll be somewhere between three and a half and four billion dollars in revenue in 2021. What this really has been is remarkable in the context of an opportunity to transform the way real estate gets transacted, not just in the U.S., but across the globe insofar as we're now in, in, in 18 countries and soon to announce uh, operations in, uh, in some additional uh, countries. So there are a few times over one's lifetime or over one's career uh, where you have an opportunity to be part of something truly transformational. Um, and to have a, a, a meaningful impact on, on how that's accomplished. Um, and it's really been the last four to five years that this company has really launched like a, like a rocket ship where our business model has, has um, um, resonated, people who've come to understand it, uh, and despite all of the naysayers early on, um, have now come to understand that everything that they believed falsely uh, about EXP, um, um, it, it just wasn't true, that this is a sustainable business model, that agents uh, have a remarkable opportunity to, to generate wealth uh, through, you know, traditional commission revenues, through, through, through revenue share, through stock ownership. And I think, you know, perhaps the most, um, uh, the thing that stands out above the rest, um, and it is the goal of, of every CEO, whether you're running a public company or a private company or, or, or some mom and pop shop, and that is to get your employees to think like owners. Um, and we're, we're blessed at EXP in that our, 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 our almost 2,000 employees and our almost 70,000 agents uh, act like owners in the context of what the company means to them, the degree to which they're offering constructive uh, advice to us. And the truth of it is, because of the opportunities to acquire stock in the company, many, most of our agents are, in fact, owners, shareholders. Yeah, it's it's truly uh, the transformational story, and I can attest to this. Uh, uh, you know, and I was very skeptical too, um, Randall. I was approached, you know, five years ago, and I was in commercial real estate and capital gains tax deferral, and so I said, no, it's probably not for me. I didn't even look at it really. I just kind of list. I I didn't even watch any videos. I just kind of listened to one person and just kind of dismissed it. But then I was approached by a good friend who said, hey, give it a shot. Like I think this, you'll see it if if you experience it. And that was my experience. I said, look. I'm not going to recruit anybody. I'm just going to sell real estate. I'm just going to sell the capital gains, tax, you know, deferred sales trust. And, but within 30, 60, 90 days, you know, I could see the, the humility, the kindness, the competitiveness, the entrepreneurial spirit of the people that I was, I had the, had the honor to now mastermind with, get coached, you know, coach with, do deals with. 
And it was, let's just say, infectious. I said, well, this is one of the, this is in the leadership part of it. And then they bought Success Magazine. Right then, of course, EXP Commercial uh, was launched. And then I, all of it just kept getting better and better and better in so many ways. And you're right. It's the focus, I feel, uh, with, you know, with Glenn and the, and, and the board and the company, the focus on making it uh, transformational at the brokerage level, at the agent level. Those are on the front line and rewarding them with the ownership. I always say get on the right side of the quadrant, the Robert Kiyosaki cash flow quadrant, right? Become owner, business owner, and investor. And the rest of it starts to really take care of itself. As we're taking care of, we're, we're more likely and in, in better prepared and better equipped to share our knowledge with one another and help more clients. And we can't help but grow. Any thoughts on just the 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 nature of that taking some time and now being on the other side of it on the just the rapid success that we've had? What really sticks out of what you know Glenn was able to do? What you guys have made sure to keep that culture in place. Could you give us some insight into that wisdom of of of, of something that's you know growing so fast? Sure. Well, first and foremost, uh, it starts with Glenn's extraordinary vision um, and his perseverance, his diligence, uh, plowing through all of the challenges and all of the naysayers uh, that told him it couldn't be done for so many so many years. Um, and it was really four or five years ago when the traction uh, really started to take hold. Uh, our culture, our philosophical underpinnings are rooted in the fact that this is an agent-centric organization. Our real estate agents are our customers. Uh, we want to provide them with the, the breadth and depth of resources and tools, uh, everything available to help them build the best practice um, they can build. Um, and you'd mentioned that we reward people with stock. I would change the, the language around that. I don't think we reward people uh, for anything. Uh, I think they earn what they get. Uh, we don't give away stock for free, for example. We give an opportunity um, uh, to earn those shares uh, based on what it is they accomplish. And um, uh, real estate agents, uh, if they are nothing else, are certainly uh, enthusiastic uh, and entrepreneurial, each running their their own business. And I think what is um, <clears throat> unmistakable about the uh, the EXP business model and 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 something that Glenn felt very early on was key to what was going to be the success of the organization <clears throat> is a a degree of collaboration unlike that that existed any place else in corporate America. Uh, we operate virtually for those who don't know it. Uh, we don't have any physical offices anywhere with 2,000 employees and almost 70,000 agents. Uh, we operate uh, with a, um, a technology platform called Verbella, which gives us an opportunity to operate in a virtual campus, uh, which means that, that an agent in San Diego can collaborate with an agent in, uh, in Portland, Maine. Um, that uh, someone in Las Vegas can get uh, advice from someone in uh, Beaufort, South Carolina, uh, that all the training and material that is available, we can make available 24-7 as opposed to having people uh, fly around the country to present to, to smaller groups. And, and that, that is really powerful in terms of providing instant access to information. It's also very powerful. Uh, when you think about people acting like owners, that that agent in San Diego is receptive to the person in Portland, Maine, with respect to, um, you know, how do you do this, or do you have a form that might might be helpful in that regard, because they we all as shareholders benefit uh, through that uh, through that collaboration. Yeah, absolutely, and. 